Sandiford Winery, Sandiford Swan Valley. Oh, and we're going straight from here, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. Dropped off there in the grounds. Lunch, winery tour, tastings, and then our driver from this morning will pick us up. Awesome. That's right, isn't that, Adriana? That's correct. Okay. Yeah. Welcome to Sandiford Estate. Uh, you're actually on one of the oldest wineries, not only in Western Australia, one of the oldest wineries in Australia. The Swan River starts up in the Darling Range and comes all the way down. So I mentioned before, a lot of people will come in to Sandiford by a chopper. A lot of them also travel up here with the Captain Cook daily service and make a, make a full day of it. We are in for a treat. We're at Sandiford Winery. As you can see, I've uh, got the grapes in the background. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do a bit of a wine tasting and then the chef's gonna get us in the kitchen and is gonna cook us a feed. I think we're gonna do some steaks, uh, bone marrow. Uh, obviously, we're gonna get uh, the whole lot, but uh, we're gonna show you the, the steak being cooked with the bone marrow and some of the sauces that's in the gravy. It's gonna have uh, some of the wines that they have here on site. So that's gonna be pretty cool to, cool to see and he's gonna run us through that. So let's go check it all out. We're gonna go into the winery. Ross, uh, we're gonna talk about creamy, buttery Chardonnays. <laughs> have, you, have you got one out? No, I haven't. <laughs> grab, grab, grab a bottle, we'll let's have one of those on the way. Come through. And spit it out. Obviously, if you sit here and you drink every glass, then uh, you guys are gonna have a crack as well. <laughs> you, you spit it out? Yeah, in the drain. In the, in the drain. No, but I was just saying, well, you can not you drink it, right? Extreme version of it. <laughs> <laughs> I did, uh, yeah, I didn't mean that either. Sorry, I've right. over our executive chef. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, how are you? Yeah, good, mate. Good. good to meet you. Like, See? The older ones. I'm a buttery shardy yeah, type of guy. Yeah. I didn't even uh, know what one I liked. I remember just explaining, like, oh, I'm more into like the those barrels they are so i couldn't remember what it was but it was like a more right. of a buttery type and they're like oh about buttery so, so, chardonnay i'm like that's the one that's the one so um because i'm getting into the em emma my wife's obviously a big uh, whiny so she loves her wine this is uh, and i'm growing i'm growing on it huh this is the buttery chardonnay this is the buttery chardonnay buttery chardy as uh, arabella will call it more my style yeah, she's uh, probably more Savion Blanc, which uh, Arabella was saying is more like, what's she say, 13, 13 year old, did you say, Savion Blanc? It just reminds me of my youth. I was just actually saying to Sam, <laughs> cool I used to so steal my parents' Savion Blanc. So what she's saying is everyone that drinks Savion Blanc is that you're pretty much a 13 year old. That's what she's trying to say. With one of your dishes, I'd go Ross. I'm allowed to do that, just so you know. What's this, Ooh. Uh, liqueur Pedro Zemenez. It's a fortified style, so you drink, you know, maybe up with dessert or... This is sweeter though, this is deliberately sweet, oh, yeah. but it's like it's a... Right. It's not like oh, an yeah. entry level, oh. this is a serious sweetness. Thanks, I'm lying. That's what our old cellar door man it is. Really? Yeah, very sweet. Uh, we're just doing a bit of your uh, 
charcuterie here. We got some wild, smoked wild boar, and then we got these beautiful roasted peppers here, done with a little bit of chili, some fresh thyme, some olive oil. We're doing up some, uh, some fig tarts here. So these are Genova figs. They've been cooked in honey with a little bit of lemon juice. And it's got a uh, almond tart base with a whipped uh, goat's curd. Pretty much. We got here the Harvey sirloin beef. It's their premium range. Uh, we have it heavily sea salt. Uh, we bring it up to room temperature before we cook it yeah. so you get a much even cooking on the steak. Is it wines that you'll use in sauces and a lot of the food? Yep, so some of the uh, the red wine that we use for this steak in particular, we would use, we'll get straight from the winemaker, yep. straight out of the vat basically. Uh, in this case, we're using a bit of the Cab Sav. Uh, we make a, a beef stock which goes on for eight hours. Then we, uh, we take that stock from the bones and everything. We uh, strain it all off, reduce it down with another mirepoix. Uh, some of that red wine, we reduce down separately, add it into it, and it just boosts the whole flavour of the dish. You find it, you'll, yeah, when you taste it, you'll understand it, it really nice. cuts through the steak. So I've had a, I've had plenty of a bone marrow on that. I don't know if I've had a many smoked though. I'll tell you the flavour from it. So that's yeah. good. Yeah, it's good. Obviously oh, no, the smoke good. going through the bone marrow, that is going to be insane. <laughs> How's that for, for a dish? Yeah. Obviously you get a top-notch steak, got the potato, mushrooms, and then you've got bone marrow as well. Get some of that bone marrow, obviously even with the potato would be nice, but get it with like some sourdough, nice toasted sourdough. Oh. Spoon there, just to scrape the marrow out of your steak. Oh, right. and dry that up. Oh, so we're, we're scraping it on the steak? Scrape it steak and then oh, yeah, okay. just flavour it right up and stem. Alright, not like stay there now. Ooh. Um, have a look at that. Ooh, yeah. Bone marrow and all. Now, again, this has uh, some of the sauce has that wine in there as well from on site mm. wine. Yeah. Mmm. Loud. But yeah, it's a choice. Colors, eh? I was 